What are you gonna see in there? Turtles! We just did a snorkel trip to Molokini yesterday and it was awesome. But is this something you wanna do when you come to Maui? We're gonna break it all down for you here. We are off on an adventure today and I'm so excited. We are heading. It's my birthday today. Yeah, a birthday, birthday. trip. Um, the Pacific Whale Foundation is doing snorkeling trips to Molokini and Turtle Arches. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty nice. So the island's not open yet, but they've opened it up for Kamalina. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. So we'll take you along. We're going to show you because they have some new procedures in place for COVID to make sure it's safe and clean. And we're just going to have a great time. Yeah. This is what you can expect when you come to Maui probably, right? I mean, this is how things are changing. The point is you go on snorkeling in the early morning in uh, Hawaii is to avoid the trade winds. So right now it's what? It's 8 to 7.30? Yeah. Boat leaves around 7.45. Get back before the trade winds pick up. We'll see. Snorkeling from shore is awesome. And I would say it is pretty much on par with snorkeling on the boat. The difference is if you really want a boat day out, take a boat ride to Molokini. It's pretty awesome. If you just really care about snorkeling and seeing fish and turtles, you can see all that from the shore. So go for the boat experience. You can have the same snorkel experience either way. And you'll save $100 per person if you do it yourself from the shore. But we enjoyed the boat ride. Erica's frantically looking up the waiver she didn't fill out. Is Amari sweating? Uh -oh. Oh, that's not a good sign. Yeah, okay. okay. 27.7. All right. <laughs> Don't be like us and come and check in early. For second to last check-ins. Once we get on board, you're gonna pass this to your crew member and they'll take you to your seat. So just real quick, tips to bring, cause like we messed up and we didn't bring towels. Or so a true. hat. Or a hat. So yeah, bring a hat, bring sun protective clothing, uh, mineral based sunscreen to get your face and other parts like that. And definitely bring towels, they don't provide towels. <laughs> Come on up, watch your step on these. All right. I'll meet you, or it says we'll meet you right down there. Morning. Perfect. So you guys see any mask in the state? We do. Your own snorkel yeah. chairs. Can I follow you? So this is our assigned seating. Assigned seating. Oh, thank you. Cool. This is our pod of four chairs, and then the next four are roped off. We always always debate like going to Molokini or not because like it's Molokini and Turtle Town, and we're always like, well, you can just go from shore to see Turtle Town. Right? Go guys. It really doesn't matter because going out on the boat is all about like the day experience, it's all about the adventure. And it's like, that's why the boat was packed with the locals because it's so much fun to spend the day out on the water, get a nice lunch. And not to mention Molokini is absolutely beautiful. Like the water really is crystal clear. Like I love snorkeling on Maui. Absolutely love snorkeling on Maui. And it's got so many great snorkel spots to go from shore. But Molokini was the most crystal clear water I've ever seen. Like they say it's 100 to 150 feet visibility. And I totally believe it. Please keep your seats as we make our departure here. And please put your mask on, make sure it's covering your mouth and your nose. And then we'll get this party started. All right, buddy, the motor's going now. Oh, here comes one, breakfast. Look at this service. A little continental breakfast to start the morning. Oh, look at that. Thank you very much. Cheers. 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 So we got a view of Molokini. We're heading straight for her. Here we come. So the cruise out here on Pack Whale Foundation is not a high speed chase. That's for sure. It's nice to be a little meandering cruise. favorite part was that we got to see dolphins. I have not seen dolphins out in the ocean since living here. We've seen plenty of whales. No dolphins. So that was so cool. We got to see them there and on the way back also. And you got to see them. So the footage isn't great, but that just means you have to come to Hawaii to see them yourself. Problem solved. <laughs>
integrating great statistics on Molokini right now. Like Molokini has 100 feet of visibility, that's why it's so popular to go. It's over a 200,000 year old volcano. Molokini. We'll try to be here for about an hour and then we'll uh, pick up our mooring and head off to the next spot. Erica's suiting up. We're going to start. Ready. Henry's ready to go swimming? Welcome to Molokini. Yeah. Are we going away watching? Yeah. <laughs> that means you're ready to go. Good job. If you're out there and you're nervous, Daddy and I are keeping you safe, okay? That's our job, okay? Elbows? Elbow. Cool. We're going to the platform. Here we go, buddy. Look how nice that water looks, huh? Big swimming pool. Yeah, it's crooked. <laughs> oh, here we go. When we're at Molokini Crater, there's this Mori eel. And everybody in the water is like, oh, you gotta go see the Mori eel. It's the biggest one I've ever seen. And these are all locals talking, right? And I just couldn't find it to save my life. That is a massive eel that I missed. <laughs> wow. But luckily, we made friends with Larry, who was on the boat, and he got some good video of the Mori eel for us. <laughs> Alright, we just left Molokini Crater and now we're heading to Turtle Arches to see turtles on this one and uh, get a little lunch along the way. Holy flower coral. That's the cauliflower coral. Now, a lot of people think when they see a colony of cauliflower coral that that's. All people from Maui enjoying a nice day of snorkeling. All playing tourists. What are you gonna see in there? Turtles! Hi guys. Hey guys. What's going on? Alright, so our second stop is Pu'u Olai um, on our snorkeling day today. 
So they go to different spots depending on the weather. So you could end up in different locations, but we are still right uh, just south of Wailea and the other popular place is Turtle Arches, which is up by McKenna Landing. So different places to go, different options, depending on the weather. They mix it up, but this is gonna be a good spot. We already saw a turtle when we were uh, um, securing the boat. Mama's going straight for the turtles. She knows where to go. No turtles, but that was beautiful. Really pretty out there. I got really lucky. I saw Moriel at the second circle spot. It's the first Moriel I've seen since we've been living here. This looks great, guys. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, guys. They're making sandwiches. Yeah. Or they're making wraps. They're making wraps. They look delicious. So they used to barbecue. But times are a changing. So now they're doing wraps. These are wraps from pork and salad, a local place in Maui. Yeah, we're not big drinkers, but it's my birthday. And they're doing a free round of drinks for everybody. All right, they do one free round of drinks. I don't know if they normally do, but they are today. And then it's happy hour prices of $5 a drink after that. So they right. got wraps from pork and salad that they make. Pretty good. The barbecue's that looks that awesome. It does. You got salad dressing. What is it? The green goddess? Green goddess. <laughs> Henry is certainly enjoying it. <laughs> like the best birthday gift ever right here. These poor little guys all tuckered out. Thank you. He did a great job. He got in the water. We're so proud of him. If you are trying to figure out your trip to Hawaii for, you know, 2021 or beyond, head to the Hawaii Vacation Guide com slash itineraries and you can check out all of our free itineraries that are there to help you plan a trip you love. And we also have a recommendations page and we talk about all of our favorite tours and trips around the islands and our favorite vendors for those.